Bro, this is such a fucking crazy title. What a wild ass title. Thanks for the gift, Kenna. When stream and nightmares come on, everybody gonna say, I'm telling you, this shit is like fucking clockwork. Wait, what? I done been to several events with AMP. Okay. When stream and nightmares come on, everybody gonna say, I'm telling you, this shit is like fucking clockwork, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm not violating. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all facts. I done been with AMP long enough to know how this shit go, bro. All right? And when we in the club, when dreams and nightmares come on, when it say, Phantom so big, can't even fit in the parking spot, we fucking look at Phantom and we all, ah, and this shit was just gonna be so fucking, it was gonna be repetitive as fuck. <laughs> like, we done did this shit like eight times already. <laughs> we, done, we done did this shit like eight times. What up, yeah. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, chat. When we were in LA, they definitely did that shit. I'm not gonna lie. I felt bad, bro, because every time I make fun of Phantom's weight, he goes, nigga, you were just fat. And I'm like, true. So I don't really make fun of Phantom's weight that much. The rest of the guys kind of carry that. You feel me? So I, I thought of looking at him, but <clears throat> it just felt like, you know. Y'all, in this clip, y'all about to see. I drove to the AMP house, right? Y'all, I don't know if y'all remember, but... Um, I posted in the bathroom, in my bathroom on IG, and, it, and all y'all was sliding up. Y'all was like, uh, you only at the house because everybody gone. Anyways. Um, what the fuck? That's what people told him? That is crazy. Oh, thanks, AIM. You're fine, too, especially for a 30-year-old. You are, man, for a 30-year-old, AIM, no wrinkles. Just beautiful skin. You only at the house because Kai and Phantom them in, 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 at TwitchCon. And I was like, no, that's not the case. I'm actually finna go to Twitch. Uh, I just I just didn't reply to y'all because I was just waiting for y'all to chat. You know what I'm saying? I was waiting for y'all to chat. Y'all was like, you yeah, can't even you with the house because Kai didn't go. Bitch, you wasn't with was me like, shooting in the gym. <clears throat> hey, nah, appreciate the sub, man. Man, whatever. So that night, right? I ain't gonna lie. That night, I'm sitting in my room. You know what I'm saying? And in the morning, I got an 8 a.m. flight for Twitch Cut. And I lost all interest in <laughs> sitting there like, fuck, I'm not going to Twitch card. Like, I don't, like, why am I going? Like, I'm not going to record a video like that. I don't want to record a video like that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just how I'm thinking at the point. And, and, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, why the fuck am I even going? That's just how, that's, that's the type of person I am. Like, I, it, it got to make sense for me. I lost all interest. And plus, to be honest, I already know how it was going. I, being 100% honest with y'all boys, I already done, done attended enough bi business related trips. I already know how those type of trips go. See, Chad, I don't pull up to the business. <clears throat> Look, when we go somewhere as a group, I usually, I'm not gonna lie, last time we were at DreamCon, we went out at night and I remember waiting outside one of the like the clubs and I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like the only reason I even went out was because everyone else was going out. But I was outside waiting to get in and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like I'm going home and I'm, I'm going to the hotel and I'm sleeping. I don't want to be here right now. And there was just something so like, I don't know, Chad, but I just got to be an introvert, man. I know I'm an introvert because I was like. Nigga, I do not want to stand and sit here and listen to music around a whole bunch of strangers that are probably going to be clout chasing when I could just chill with these guys any other time without the hassle. Hey, AIM, AIM was there. Yeah, I know AIM was there. But I looked at AIM, I was like, nigga, I'm about to go home, bro. I'm about to go home, man. I just, I did ass just called an Uber and went home. So I wasn't there that day, the last time everybody was out together. I tried to go out, like I really did, but once I got there, I just lost all interest. Oh, no, no, I did go home. The next day I just moved my flight up and I just flew back. I didn't want to be there. When, before, before TwitchCon, I met, I saw Duke on the outside. I was like, oh shit, Duke, I thought you were gonna go to TwitchCon. He's like, nah, man, I was on the Uber ride and I just, I just realized I didn't want to go. So I turned back around. 
<laughs> that's so funny to me. That's like a movie moment. Like on your ride there, just it hits you like, damn, nigga, I really don't want to be there. And <laughs> just turning back around. <laughs> all right, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't no L ego either. All right. Listen, listen to what I'm talking about. Y'all, I see chat. I see y'all niggas is crying right now. T the fuck up, chat. God, True. Listen. Oh. Uh, I already know how those type of vibes go, bro. <clears throat> this is how this is how this is how every event go. This is how every event go. To me, Camille thing. Time living this shit. Nightmares do true. It was time to marry the game, and I say yeah, I do. If you want. <laughs> Yo, nah, going to the club really is the same thing every time, bro. They play the same Chief Keef songs every time, same Meek Mill songs every time. But I be playing the same shit every time, bro. You could be rest assured, Dreams and Nightmares will play every time, man. At some point that night, bro, Dreams and Nightmare will be played, bro. It, 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 there's no way around it. That's that shit I don't like will 1 million percent be played and you will 1 million percent do the same thing you did yesterday when it was played at the same exact time. But the same shit happens, bro, every time. Yo, I was asking about, bro, this shit doesn't get repetitive for, for the niggas that go all the time, but this shit doesn't get repetitive to y'all. But to be fair, last time I went, I rarely go out, so it wasn't, but like next time, if it happens again, I probably, I wouldn't be surprised if I just felt the same way as Duke. And I'm like, well, I don't want to go. But uh, last time I went, Kason was hosting. So it was kind of fun. It's, it's more fun when uh, you're going there for like someone you fuck with, you know? Like if you're just going to a random club, I feel like there'd be such little appeal. There'd be such little appeal. I'm hearing this shit. And then they start grabbing their homeboy. You know what I'm saying? And, and especially, like, especially with like, with like, like I said, like, I've been, I done been to these events. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done been to them already. I done been to several events with AMP. Once Dream and Night. You only go for the on, bitches? Everybody gonna say, I'm telling you, this shit is like fucking clockwork, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm not violating. I'm, I'm, I'm telling it is, you though. facts. He's right. I done been with AMP long enough to know how this shit go, bro. It's it's still nice to it's still nice to be out as like a group with everybody. Like it would have been so much nicer if Duke and Davis were there, cause everybody was there, bro. All of RDC was there. Like Aiden, Aiden's whole crew was there. Like, bro, it was just so nice to see like everybody you fuck with together. Now it didn't have to be at a club. It could have been at someone's house for all I give a fuck. But it's just nice to be in a circle with a whole bunch of people that you fuck with. No cap. I Timothy Aim said everyone but Pokey. Now Bruce didn't come to the to the thing I was at last time. He stayed in San Diego. He didn't come. He didn't come. And when we in the club, when dreams and nightmares come on, when it say Phantom so big can't even fit in the parking spot, we think that <laughs> if they went out Friday and Saturday, dreams and nightmares was pre was played both nights. <laughs> All right. What the hell? Played both nights. What in the darkness? And. And they said, they emphasized, Phantom so big can't even fit in the parking spot two times, Friday and Saturday. <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> and, and they pointed at Phantom and Phantom was ah, both nights, Friday and Saturday. Night. <laughs> I've been in the club way too many times. <laughs> As I'm sitting in my room, I'm playing. I'm playing, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what I'm going to do at TwitchCon, I couldn't think of a reason. <laughs> nah, low key. Went to the, to the club, to bitch. I, Called me pussy repellent. Never went back. Hey, fucking yo. Uh-oh. Hey, this what they've been waiting for? Uh-oh, Chai. Uh-oh. Ready? Get your phones out, Chai. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Damn! I used to go out like this, to go like this, no matter! Time like this, no matter! Time like this, no matter! Time I spent on some lot of shit in the back of the daddy wagon, cause locked on wrist. See my dreams unfold, nightmares unfold, and the dreams unfold. Daddy wagon, cause locked on wrist. See my dreams unfold, nightmares come true. It was time to marry the game, and I said, yeah, I do. If you want it, you gotta see it with a clear eye view. Got shorty, she chomped. Yo, bro, Meek definitely has to be making like millions of dollars from this one song, bro. It is played every night, no matter where you go.